Okay, Mr. Cleland here from Cleland Maths. So we've already learned about circumference of a circle, area of a circle, working backwards, finding the diameter, finding the radius. So today it's all about just problem solving. It's all about just what sort of things, shapes can we make out of circles and working backwards by either subtracting or adding, can we find the area of those shapes? So today we're just going to do ones where we have to subtract either one big circle from one little circle or taking a rectangle, say, and taking away a bit of a circle. So it's all going to be about subtracting. When you're doing these questions, I could go over every single type of question and I'm not going to do that because there's hundreds and hundreds of different types that we could go over. So you need to just start using your brain a little bit and thinking, what do I need to do to answer this question? Am I adding areas together? Am I taking away? What formulas do I need? So I'll give you a few examples to show you the type of thinking that is involved in that. And then I'll put a link in the description to a few other examples that you can try on your own. Okay, straight in an example. So we're going to calculate the area of the yellow section. So notice the same area. And it's one minute calculate the area of the yellow section. So there's a big red section and the yellow section. But obviously this is a circle. So I can immediately calculate the area of a large yellow circle and then I could calculate the area of a small red circle and if I took that away from that, the big minus the small, that would leave me with the yellow section. So I'll go ahead and do that. So starting off with the yellow circle, I always write down my formula, A equals pi r squared. But there's no r. You can see here the diameter is 13, so the radius for this is half of that, which is 6.5. So I've got pi times 6.5 squared. Using a calculator to work that out, 0.73, which to one decimal place is 132.7 centimeters squared. So I've now just worked out the area of a big yellow circle, so I can go ahead and do the same for the small okay, red, for the red circle then. Again, the red circle, area equals pi r squared. I always write down my formula, area equals pi r squared. This time I've got the radius straight away is 5, so it's pi times 5 squared. Get a calculator and work that out, 539 to one decimal place again it's just 78.5 centimeters squared so now since i've got the yellow circle and the red circle if i take the yellow and the red away from each other that will leave me just the yellow section which is what i'm looking for so doing that i've got the yellow section circle sorry yellow circle minus the red circle my two answers were 132.7 minus 78.5 centimeters squared. Okay, let's move on to a second example. Okay, example two. It says calculate the area of a shape. So if you look at this shape here, you can see we've got kind of a bit of a rectangle, but there's a bit of a bit missing. It looks probably like it's a circle. I would say it's a semicircle, okay? So if I kind of complete that shape by drawing this line in here, I've now just got the diameter of that circle, which is three centimeters. So the radius of that circle is 1.5. If I calculate the area of the whole rectangle as if it was a whole rectangle, I can then take away the semicircular part and that will give me the area of the purple shape. So I've got a rectangle, Remember the area of a rectangle is just the length times the height. The length of the shape is 12, the height is 3. 12 times 3 is 36 centimetres squared. So I've now got the area of a rectangle and I've also got a semicircle or half a circle. Now I could just work out the area of the whole circle then remember to half it, but I'm better off just writing down it's the same circle to start with, so that I now just write down the area of a circle but put a half in front, so it's a half of pi r squared. 
So that's in a calculator 0 0.5 for a half times pi times 1.5 squared. Using a calculator to work that out, you get 3.534, which to one decimal place is 3.5 centimetres squared. So now I've got the area of the whole rectangle, I've got the area of the little semicircular part that's missing. So if I take the big rectangle and take away the semicircle, I will end up with the area of the purple shape. So I'm just going to do that now. So I've got 36 minus 3.5. So you get an answer of 32.5 centimetres squared. Thank you for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like the video, please remember to share it, please remember to comment, and if you've got any questions whatsoever, send me a little comment, I'll try my best to get back to you and answer the question in class. Uh, also remember to turn on notifications for my posts, so you know when a new video is coming, okay? And remember, clever maths, that's the place to be for all your maths needs. Thank you.